Really, it's just we're we're gonna look at the formula uh, afterwards. I can like provide some kind of argument for it, but the formula for arc length. Actually, let's think about what is arc length. So, if we have a function f of x and maybe from a to b, we can take the integral and find the area of this but we can actually also find the length of the curve from here to here by using a different formula. It's still involving integrals, but to find that actual distance, it does come from the Pythagorean theorem, just finding linear distances, but we're going to have the integral uh, from A to B of the square root of 1 plus f prime of x quantity squared. So many people forget to square it. That's the problem. dx. Uh, some people might be thinking like, wait a minute, that looks like uh, something. But it's not. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I think maybe you might be thinking of inverse uh, like trig stuff and the derivatives, but that's 1 over and it's like 1 minus x squared underneath the square root, something like that. This is slightly different. We have an addition sign, and we have a derivative in there, and we have a square root, and nothing is in the denominator except for 1. So this is the formula that we'll use. Let's just title it arc length in x, y plane. Because there's another formula for arc length for polar curves, and that's what we'll talk about tomorrow. But this section is really easy. It's already added on Khan Academy, or on Schoology. This is also going to be on a memorization quiz, so make sure you memorize it. So we're going to have two equations, or two functions. First, we have the f, which is given by this, and g, which is given by that. And we're supposed to find the perimeter. Uh, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom into this, and then I want you to try and figure out the integral. So I'm going to, I guess, there we go, give you that. 